This module will cover the SPI and I2C communication protocols for the Lepton Micro Thermal Camera Module integration and how to successfully install and interface the camera. Sometimes level shifting is necessary since Lepton operates on 3 volt VDD IO and many systems use 1.8 I2C. Lepton requires 16 bit registers and other interfaces that may be different. The SPI interface on Lepton can't share with other SPI devices. It's important to only connect Lepton to a dedicated bus. The same is typically recommended for I2C to reduce the potential for interference. The Lepton video over SPI driver is generally the most important part about a Lepton integration. This is where integrators commonly have difficulty. The V over SPI driver produces duplicates so, for the Lepton 2.5, two out of three of the frames it sends out are duplicates. All need to be collected to maintain sync between the master and the slave. With Lepton 3.5, only two of six frames are duplicates, but data is being sent at four times the rate since there are four times as many pixels. The captured frames are the same size as Lepton 2.5, but when reassembled in entire frames, four segments make up one frame. Generally, the SPI clock needs to run faster for Lepton 3.5. Running it from 20 to 24 megahertz generally provides the most room to complete the SPI transaction before the next frame is ready. If you lose synchronization or the packets collide and the timing is off, resynchronize. Resynchronizing is just logic to put into the driver to assert the pin to trigger a restart and re-establish sync. Even though your driver might be perfectly working, it's always best to have this logic in there just in case. Full descriptions of this and an entire guide on how to use it are available in our VOSPI Developer's Guide and in the Engineering Datasheet as well as in the example drivers provided upon request. Reference drivers are available for several different platforms. Raspberry Pi is the most popular. Drivers for BeagleBone Black Amberella, and even Qualcomm are also available upon request. The Lepton 3.5 should use the V-Sync GPIO interrupt to trigger frame capture. It needs to run on DMA when on a processor to interrupt the process scheduler and read these SPI transactions exactly on time. If even a few milliseconds off, it can end up in an incomplete read, which would then cause the Lepton to lose sync. Connecting Lepton to a processor produces a significant amount of data for an SPI interface. Generally, SPI is not meant to output video, especially 160 by 120 video, at the rate that Lepton 3.5 produces data. If sync is lost or needs to be re-established, Lepton will input or output discard frames. Discarded frames will generally be a large number of zeros. If that happens, it's best to resync. If this happens and resyncing doesn't work, it means the driver is not operating properly and needs to be debugged further. As a rule, the hardware needs to have low latency on the SPI interface, and there needs to be a very closed loop cycle through the interrupt driven SPI read. Sometimes a real time kernel or direct access to the interrupt handler might be required. A significant effort that can go into it if a processor doesn't like to play nice with the DMA, or it doesn't have a fully operating DMA working. Here are a few examples of the different types of failures that can occur on the SPI interface. In the top one, the interrupt never tried to read over the SPI interface. The frame before the red circle responded late on the chip select. On the next one, it never happened, so that could be an issue with latency. It could also be an issue with the SPI pins being handled improperly. Another scenario would be where it's so late that the reading of the video frame spills over into the next video frame. This will desync the camera and require re-establishing sync. If it happens frequently, basically there will be no video at all. The best case is the one on the bottom where the sequence shows very repeatable consistency. Lepton 3.5 is 160 by 120 pixels, while Lepton 2.5 is 80 by 60 pixels. This creates four times the data rate 
and additional requirements for integration. Refer to the Lepton 3.5 VOSPI Developer Guide for additional information. For further questions or support, please go to fleer.custhelp.com to connect with our support agents as well as our applications engineers. Additional integration resources can be found at fleer.com forward slash lepton integration. Thank you for your time.